Dear colleagues, the main emphasis of this video is to show you the use of reflux. It's a very important reflex that we must develop. All FACO surgeons must train their foot to such an extent that even if you catch the posterior capsule, you should be able to stop in time and use reflux and release the capsule. If you can do that, you will not tear off the posterior capsule and the patient will be blessing you throughout life. Let us observe the whole surgery. By this time the main incision and a side port has been made. And now this is studio coaxial illumination of Lumera T microscope. Capsulorexis is being done with the help of uh, uterata forceps. And now Now, hydro dissection is done with this 27 gauze cannula using BSS or ringer lactate. The nucleus is mobilized. And now, this is Mohanta's pre chopper and Mohanta's sustainer. The nucleus is divided into two heminuclei, then on heminucleus is divided into two and I come out. And this is Oatley Cataryx 3 FACO machine. And this is emulsification of the pre-chopped nuclear pieces. Now here comes the nucleus. It can be easily divided into two by the sustainer and the sustainer has been used as chopper in this case. All cases where sustainer is being used, I use the sustainer as chopper. Now observe this. At this point, suddenly the hair is I have caught the PC, I released it and started uh, removing some more cortex by the hand piece itself. And this is a small epinuclear piece, nuclear or epinuclear piece. This is emulsified and removed. And now some visco in the anterior chamber and the rest of the cortex is being used by this 23 gauze Simco. The width of this side port is about 1.7 millimeter and a 23 gauze Simco easily goes through it. I have only one side port 90 degree away from the main wound. Whatever astigmatism is being produced by the main wound is neutralized to some extent by the side port and now implantation of the intraocular lens. This is visco filling up the capsular bag and the anterior chamber and now let us see what kind of lens is this. Yes, this is Asfina 404 from Jace. It's a plate haptic intraocular lens, and this cartridge is provided by the company Jace. It is placed, loaded, and this uh, goes through the 2.8 millimeter wound, but the wound is stressed. So, uh, I am planning to enlarge the main wound just by one cut so that I do not uh, cause stress of the main wound. Uh, 
here goes the intraocular lens. The leading haptic goes into the capsular bag and the trailing haptic is not in the bag, it is, it has been placed in the bag by the left hand instrument. Left hand instrument is Mohanta's chopper. Now, the lens has been rotated to orient it in such a way that I can go behind the intraocular lens to clean visco from the back. So, I am irrigating uh, BSS. Now, I go behind the lens and irrigate BSS in the bag. Now, I come in the anterior chamber and aspirate some visco. And I come out. Now, I am going to use bimanual IA for some time. This is the bimanual irrigation aspiration. The irrigation goes behind the lens, aspiration is above the lens and all the visco that is there in the anterior chamber and in the bag is, has come out. Now, this is closure of the side port and then the antechamber is formed nicely and the case is concluded. Let us see the part in slow motion. Here, I try to remove some cortex and here I catch the posterior capsule. I use reflux, I stop first and then use reflux and I could release the posterior capsule. All of us must train our foot to be able to do this. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.